and this is Jetstream, and welcome to the Archive. My knowledge is your power, and today we're going to be talking about jazz. If it's not alright, and turn the bass up, blow my eardrums up, just like a fire truck. If it's not alright, and turn the bass up, yeah, I like it loud. I love talking about them bad boys and their awesome powers and abilities. But, yeah, well that goes straight out the window! Okay. All because of you, Jazz. You and your Big Hero 6 impression. -la 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 -la. So, anyway, Jazz was one I know for a fact was in the original Transformers cartoon. It's pretty nice to see that these two come pretty close to looking similar, especially when Jazz has his visor shades down. Very nice touch. Their vehicle modes also look pretty darn close too, which is also awesome to see. Jazz, also like his G1 counterpart, has the ability of using sound as a weapon. Though with Robots in Disguise Jazz, it's less ear-bleeding music and more wave-based pressure, used as a surprise attack, catching most bots off guard. Then he can lay down some cool moves, to which can't be read by others because he tends to make up his moves as he goes along. What do you call that takedown anyway? Don't know. Didn't really plan it. It just kind of flowed. Let it flow, let it flow, the art of dancing attacks. Let it flow, let it flow, cause I'd better watch their backs. <laughs> I couldn't help myself, sorry. That's jazz. The jazz. Yes, and? That's jazz. Well done. And anything else you'd like to add? The Jazz! Ugh, I need details, man! Details! Ugh, well, though it's not mentioned, it's been said that Jazz used to be part of a band. Is it time for my solo? Being a fan of singing myself, of course I think it's pretty impressive. However, it would seem Jazz don't seem to tell us much of anything about this at all. So it's possible it's simply more of a hobby I can totally Relate to that, Jazzy. Down with creative oppression! So, yeah, I know he works for the big bots on Cybertron, but what does that mean exactly? Absolutely nothing! Okay, okay, well, he talks about the council later, so now that I can only assume he works for the council as something, I wouldn't say he was a cop exactly, I would say he was more of some kind of agent, keeping the council in the loop for being their eyes and ears, proposingly reporting back to them. Jazz has a good reputation on Cybertron for his war days which we would know nothing about, because well, it's not like he made an appearance in Transformers Prime, but apparently he and Bumblebee know each other pretty well. So let's say they met during the war for Cybertron, which is more than likely in this and many other universes where the two would appear. But I gotta admit, when I first saw this guy in Jazz's first appearance in Season 1, Episode 10, Can You Dig It? I was sure that we was just gonna see him once. And for the most part, I was fragging right! He got it even worse than Wheeljack and Windblade. At least they went off and came back and got to establish more of their characteristics. As for Jazz here, he got the short end of the stick. But honestly, his character isn't all that exciting. Him appearing in simply one or two episodes is probably good enough just for an extra. It was mostly an excuse to have him stay around, but luckily he at least had a very painfully minor role to play and it was to be a role model for Sideswipe. Someone cool, calm, and wise for Sideswipe to look up to and admire. And though Jazz was supposed to sort out Team B's predicament with the council, but Jazz was instead blacklisted for supporting them, which is why the task was then given to Dropforge, since he happens to be under the council's control. Jazz managed to get away and joined Optimus and his all-star team to learn more about the threat on Cybertron. And that's why we saw him at the very end of the series, aiding and saving Earth. 
Jazz is clearly the weakest character for having very little screen time and it's a huge pity. Maybe we would like to establish things more. Maybe we want to see him messing around with the others. Maybe give him a song! Now wouldn't that be something? But oh well I guess. It was not exactly essential for the story but it was awesome for him to at least show up and make an appearance. And honestly, we will enjoy him for what he is. A cool, smooth Autobot imagination when it comes to some rocking moves and having a caring nature. So let's hope that in the future he gets more action and more time in the limelight. Like and subscribe for more content. And remember, by controlling the web, I control the world. And transmission.